At this noon hour, we are getting a look at some of the damage from Hurricane Milton. And the good news is that the storm appears to not be as catastrophic as originally predicted. Still, at least five people are dead and power is out to more than 3 million customers. You can imagine how impactful that is right now. CBS News has the very latest. Police and fire crews waded through flooded streets in Daytona Beach Thursday, helping people and pets get to safety. Across Florida, first responders carried out rescues through the night, including in Tampa, where a tree fell on a house with 15 people inside. It's okay. You're okay. Strong winds and heavy rain from Hurricane Milton pounded Tampa, causing serious flooding. But officials say the city was spared catastrophic storm surge when the Category 3 storm took a turn, making landfall about 70 miles south. The storm was significant, but thankfully this was not the worst case scenario. The storm did weaken before landfall and the storm surge, as initially reported, has not been as significant overall as what was observed for Hurricane Helene. With the state still reeling from Helene, Milton brought new destruction. You guys out there want to do something, start praying. Because that's the only thing that's going to fix this. It tore the roof off Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, and fire officials say it likely sparked this house fire in Brooksville, Florida. Oh, violent tornado, violent, violent. The storm is also blamed for an outbreak of tornadoes, some of them deadly, even before it made landfall. Power lines are down, leaving millions without electricity. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Orlando.